Of course, we need, uh, first of all, these uh, international agreements. So this international law is utmost important because it puts every single country in this world to think about these issues. And also, after that, what is needed is the national legislation and in that way implementation of the international agreements. But it's not only uh, these uh, international conventions, agreements, and the national legislation which counts. Uh, the legislation uh, in the national level has to be uh, implemented in a way that it really affects. Um, and that, that is, of course, not uh, uh, only le legislation is what is needed at the national level. Also at the national level, uh, people should a little bit uh, alter their thinking uh, what comes to gender equality. If we want to achieve real gender equality, uh, what is needed is a bit different behavior from that of the decades uh, of the uh, past. And in every uh, single legislation what is implemented, uh, we should think uh, the gender issue too. Of course, the NGOs play a very crucial role what comes to the implementation. Uh, of uh, the international law. At the international level, uh, the cooperation uh, between different organizations is, is needed. And also, when we uh, look at the real implementation of the legislation or uh, the convention uh, as, or agreements, uh, what is needed is the work at the national level by the, uh, by the NGOs, because they have channels uh, and tools by which uh, they can influence people's thinking and in the long run also the culture uh, could be changed in the country in which the culture uh, and habits and religion uh, doesn't uh, support uh, gender equality. Of course cultural diplomacy plays a very big role because these gender issues and not only a question of legislation, but also a question of culture. So in that sense, uh, all the interaction uh, between people, between different uh, countries uh, is needed. And in that sense, uh, cultural diplomacy and soft power play a very big role too. Of course, women should not be looked only as victims when we think about uh, crisis uh, areas. Uh, or vulnerable um, people and in those countries uh, which are still in the process of uh, building the nation towards a democracy, uh, women should be part of the decision making already in the beginning. Uh, in those situations uh, in which uh, we are uh, reconstructing uh, peace, so in peace negotiations also women should be uh, taken into the negotiation tables and that is not yet uh, the fact. So already in the beginning women uh, should be uh, there as uh, negotiators and as decision makers. It's very important uh, to take full advantage uh, of uh, all uh, the persons and uh, who, who live in a country, not only uh, of one half of the population.